Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, this time around, we're going to go grab uh, our low bed. And we're going to go pick up our new skidder, uh, because we're going to be probably skidding a bunch of material up here soon enough. So, let's try and get this thing turned around. So, we're going to grab our, uh, go back to base, grab our new skidder, uh, and bring it back up here. Maybe we'll get a little bit more bunching done, or maybe we'll actually use the skidder. I don't know. We'll see. Uh... It's all dependent on what we want to do. We get this out of here. Go back, pick up our goodies, and we should be good to go. So you guys get to take a, a quick glimpse at the new skitter. It's not really a new new skitter. Same body as before, but this is just a two-tired skitter with uh, kind of a yellow body. It's uh, another line skitter, so it's not like something, oh my god, brand new, but it's a new style anyways I might do a version in green uh, with a grapple here soon that's kind of next on the list but we'll see do a John Deere looking one grab this guy that should be good about there oops as I walk through it so yeah like I said it's basically the same idea as the other skitter just this one's got a uh... oh it's got really sharp turning too apparently Which may come in handy when we're in some of those sketchy areas. There we go. Okay, so yeah, this one should be uh, a decent boy to take out to a party here. Hook on and go for a walk. So yeah, we'll bring this guy all the way back up to uh, that same little canyon that we're working in there. And then maybe we'll do a little bit more bunching or skidding. Probably bunching because we actually have uh, not very much to skid out. But we'll see. Oh, that's a nice scenic photo. Scenic route. Boom, yeah. I always grab all these random pictures throughout it, and I'm like, ah, which one's going to be the thumbnail? Oh, yeah. Got to pick it out. Alrighty, so let's bring this up there. And then we get to do a little bit of multi-types of uh, logging on this stuff. Find out what we like to do. Our forwarding project's going pretty sweetly on the other side of the map, so we'll just kind of pop back to that once in a while. And uh, pop back to this once in a while, too, and do some fun stuff, so... There we go. And we'll just drop it off there, it's good. Alright, so let's hook onto this guy again. We'll back it back into our corner there again, because more than likely we'll have to go pick up at least one more piece of machinery. And I think some of the other machines I might save for another map. We might start a new map, actually. Not right away, but eventually. And I'm not really too worried. I think I'm just going to leave this here right in the middle of the road. we got to move it. We can move it. Alright, so... Oh, those tires don't really match the body very well. I wonder if I should orange them out a little bit so that it looks similar. I don't know. Oops. So where are we going to bring these? Uh, actually, it's kind of probably a good, decent spot for them. What I should do is actually bring that buncher down before we do anything and make this landing a little bit bigger. Like, just kind of knock all this crap out of here. I mean, the buncher is right here. We might as well. We might as well, that's the way I look at it. Okay, so. I still do want this little road thing going on, because that's fun. But, we do need to make the, uh, the area larger. The area must be larger, so. So let's cut down this bad boy right here. Oh, did I get both trees? Certainly did. That was not intentional, but we'll take it. And let's grab you from the bottom and flip you right around. Oop. There we go. Oop. This is an alright spot to kind of pile it. Oh. 
what I would like to do is clear all of this crap right out of here. So let's get this one. Actually, not yet. Let's get this one in here first to make life easier for ourselves. Oh, I can't see anything in there. Might need to delim here a little. Clean up this. This stuff's all going to have to get delimbed anyway ahead of time because the machine that I'm bringing in will need it to be delimbed. And no, it's not the buck saw. It's something new. Something old, but something new. But it will require delimbing to have occurred before we can do anything with it. Oh, interesting. Alright. Well, I can kind of see what's going on here now. Uh, let's... Let's maybe go like this. Okay, that's interesting. Oh no. Let's see if I can make that fall off without wrecking everything. Sure. Let's grab this tree and give it a little twist. Let's grab this big old tree and slide it backwards here. That one kind of jumped ahead, so we'll pinch that one up a little bit. Beauty. Okay. Now, uh, I want to keep chopping these guys down. Basically, I'm just looking for a, a good swing radius for when I'm processing. Or chopping stuff up. Like I said, these do need to be delimbed in order for our plan to work, so. And maybe what I'll do is I'm going to drop a bunch of these back here. Bring this little gap here. Dunk. Dunk. Right in the end zone. Right in the end zone. Oh, uh, let it fall where it may here. There we go. Like I said, this kind of want to make it a little bit wider of a spot here. Lay that right in here. And like I said, we, always, we can always skid this stuff up if we want to. Oops. Saved it. Thank God the trees don't fall fast when they fall, eh? It's not in this world. There we go. Looks good. Well, uh, that's a pretty clean, clean edge to work with here, so I'm not too worried. Maybe we'll cut this ugly little bugger out of here, too, because it's kind of a weird one. Whoops. Oh, we really got that, didn't we? Okay, let's delim and do some clearing here. Delim. I'll worry about deliming these ones afterwards here. Let's get the bottom part cleaned up. These ones, though, I want to clean right from the top. There is a quicker way to do limb, and that would be that Hydra. The delimmer. That one's pretty fast, delimming stuff. Just give it one little nick, and boom, she's good to go. through the uh almost right into the cab that would have been a good a good killer 
This must be that one that we nicked right there. There we go. Lend these a bit more just for fun. I mean, we're here. We might as well get them. Oh. Saw almost ran out of gas or something. There we go. And we grab these ones. Beauty. And okay, enough of that chainsaw, I think. I think we're good on that. Okay, so... Uh, I think we're pretty much at our time here again, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna back this critter up. It's much quieter in the cab of that. <laughs> Actually, we'll back it right over in here. What I could do is cut a path that direction right to the wall and then walk around to meet up with our other trail. We'll make a little circle trail. Okay. Park this guy here. Shoot. Okay, so it looks like we got kind of an ugly little pile here. So maybe when we come back, what we'll do is we'll skid some of this out, maybe. I think I'll skid it out to the middle, all of it. From over there, from over there, from over there. All these little side roads and stuff. Then we can start cutting our way back up this hill and make some more magic occur. Yeah, I think that sounds good. All right, guys, I'm going to cut it here. So uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit that subscribe button because you know you want to. But yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.